In this video, I'll show you must know coloring method that will boost your tracing speed. You'll see how I create my vector illustrations and will be able to use tips and hints from this Adobe Illustrator tutorial to make your workflow much faster. You can download my sketch and color palette and practice in tracing and coloring. You are watching TNT Tutorials? Let's move on! In case if you want to learn how to draw, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. Tell me what would you like to draw and what's the most challenging for you, and I'll make videos to solve your drawn problems. I can teach you anything from how to draw heads to dynamic poses, but it depends on your requests and support. So simply let me know if you want to learn to draw, what would you like to draw exactly, press thumbs up and subscribe if you are not my subscriber yet. You can download this sketch by the link in the video description. In Adobe Illustrator, click on File, Place and find path to downloaded sketch. You can also download Colors, Open Swatches, click on this little menu, Open Swatch Library, Other Library and then pick my color palettes. Here's what you should know about the pen tool to trace this sketch. To create sharp corner, hold Alt or Option key and drag handle. To quickly stop drawing line, deselect it and continue with another one, hold Ctrl or Command and click somewhere. Use the direct selection tool to manipulate points and handles. And the most important pen tool tip for today – don't trace objects. Simply trace lines. Just relax and have fun. This is very easy. Trace with overlapping. All lines that you'll create must overlap. Later you will see why. Basically, I use the same hints over and over here, so this allows me to trace sketch extremely fast. Hold space to navigate through the workspace. To zoom in and out, hold Alt or Option key and use scroll. You should have this result. Pay attention that all objects are in a different layers. Select all lines, then go to Properties, Pathfinder, and select Outline. Apply color and stroke width to the lines again, then ungroup and pick unneeded lines to delete them. To do this, press V for Selection tool, select needed lines and press Delete. In this layer, create a rectangle with any color that you want. Make sure that it has a stroke. Bring this rectangle down, behind all lines. Select All, then go to Pathfinder, More Options and click on Divide. Then ungroup all and delete unneeded areas. Now you can simply pick shapes and adjust colors. Don't forget to turn off stroke after this. To add shadows, you must have references of how light falls on cloth or on the model. You can also ask me to make a tutorial about shadows and highlights and I'll make it if I'll see a lot of requests. Talking about how I add shadows, here's my favorite method in Illustrator. Pick darker color, draw a shadow, then pick the object below, copy it, press Ctrl or Command plus C and place on top. Shortcut is Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus V. Then select this copy and a shadow, right click and select Make Clipping Mask. Now let me show you how to add more complicated shadows. I keep in mind head anatomy to adjust shadows here. This is a matter of experience and practice and this is impossible to explain face structure in this short video. So if you want to know more about it, simply support this tutorial. 
Here I simply create a highlight, open layers panel and place this highlight to the clipping mask that I've just created for the main face shadow. This is how you add more and more shadows to the clipping mask. We also need to manage layers sometimes. Move some of them up or down. I want you to be able to follow this tutorial step by step, so download reference by the link in the video description and apply shadows according to reference. You can add as many shadows as you want to the clipping mask, just create shadow, open layers panel and drag it to needed clipping mask. I simply use the same hint to add shadows everywhere. To trace stripes, you can make all layers invisible and leave only sketch layer visible. Then create a new layer, create stripes in this layer and then simply copy-paste them to the dress. You can create these stripes with the pen tool without any problem, but as I use a tablet, I like to use the pencil tool in such cases. Let's press N to use it, press Enter and move slider like this. Now I'll simply trace all these stripes. Take a look here. I copy these stripes, delete them, paste them to the girl layer, group them and apply clipping mask. To add a shadow here, let's pick the dark color, draw a shadow, click on properties, opacity, change blending mode to multiply and decrease opacity. To make lines here look more interesting, simply select them, then go to Stroke and change Width Profile to this. If you're a beginner and this seems overwhelming for you, simply watch my previous tutorials or ask me to give you recommendations on what videos you should watch to be able to work fast and easy. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.